already covered the idea of uh, shadow boxing and developing your footwork or your mobility skills and how you can combine certain actions. Um, what I just want to do is, is because sometimes it's so difficult for people, is I, I just want to explain to you uh, how my teacher, Dan Nassanto, used to do this because I used to go to the school uh, and I'd see him there just, or he'd get there and he'd just start working out. But when it came to full work, it wasn't, again, it wasn't about bouncing all over the place. He needed to put the music on and then he would just start very slow and easy. He'd go into his bygone position and then he'd just start moving like step and slide and burn us, step and slide and retreat, and then a side step. And what he'd do, and then he'd combine them, drop step back, drop step two. And then he'd just start moving and he'd start moving faster and faster until he got the motion, until he was, again, now, oh, now he's curving first, he's curving back, he's moving in, he's moving back, he's drop stepping back. But again, he didn't start that way. He starts very slow and easy, or smooth and easy. So if you're gonna shadow box your footwork, don't go nuts out there. Just oh, I gotta move right away. You don't. Because when you shadow box, you have to see the opponent. So I see the opponent move towards me with a step and slide. See, now I see him curve, so I curve and I adjust with him, he curves back. He throws a kick. Good. So I move. So when you're working your footwork, just imagine that you're on an ice rink, okay? Two things, you're on an ice rink, so it's ice. You've got to move slowly or easily and smoothly, okay? Two, you have a laser beam coming directly out of your, your midsection, your navel right here. And as you're moving, you want that thing to remain as smooth as possible, not bouncing all over the place. And three, you have a, a board one inch above your head filled with rusty nails. So if you're bouncing up and down, you're going to hit. So you've got this laser beam here, you've got this board an inch above your head, so you're there, and you're on an ice ring. So you're there, you're drop stepping through, drop stepping back, good. Slide stepping forward, slide stepping back, curving off. But train to see the opponent. That's it.